Today on a special edition of ELN Morning. Just a few hours away, we take a look at the preparation for today's inauguration of President Book. Seven months in, we ask students how they feel about President Book so far. Finding balance, we took a walk with President Book to talk about her wellness mission. All that and more. ELN Morning starts right now. Live from Elon's School of Communications and the Shar Center, this is a special edition of ELN Morning. Hello and thanks for joining us for this special edition of ELN Morning. I'm Megan Lynn, live from the studio. And I'm Brian Ray, live from Shar Center where setup has begun for the inauguration. We'll be bringing you everything you need to know about the upcoming inauguration this afternoon. Brian, what's happening in Char right now? Hey Megan, we are just five hours away from the inauguration of Elon's ninth president, Connie Ledoux book. You know, this is really exciting. This will be the first time for many students, donors, and alumni in the new Char Center. As you can see behind me, the stage is all set up with the official Elon seal and chairs lined on the floor. And to my right at the entrance of Shah are security tables lined up in preparation for the event because there will be required bag checks upon entry. Also, the orchestra is here ready to start rehearsal for the ceremony as well. Today, there is an adjusted class schedule to allow students and faculty to attend the ceremony. All classes will be over by 2.10, giving students and faculty plenty of time to get to the Shah Center by 3 for the start of the ceremony. Classes that meet from 12.25 to 2.05 will end at 1.10 and classes that start at 2.20 will meet from 1.25 to 2.10. Classes at 5.30 will be back at their normal time. Now, Megan, back to you in studio. Thanks, Brian. While the ceremony to officially inaugurate President Book will be at 3 today, we asked students around campus what they think of her term as president so far. Very cool that Elon elected a woman as our president. I think she's great. Um, I think she's done, or has a lot of really great ideas for the school, um, and I'm really excited to see my next three years with her. One good thing that she's doing right now is she's really focusing on like the mental health. She seems like a very cool, inspirational woman that could be a mentor to many people, so I'm hoping that I do have some interaction with her in the future. I was at the um, call to honor ceremony because I'm on the honor board and she was just like so kind and she really just put out this like positive point of view for the university so. I think she's very nice. I, I've spoken to her on many occasions. I spoke to her at like several sports games. Well I know that Connie does a lot of like really great things around the campus. Like I know the first week of school this year she was like in the gym doing all these fun things. For more reactions about President Book's term so far make sure to tune into our coverage of the inauguration starting at 2.45. Before the excitement of inauguration, students and the Elon community will need to know about parking. Assistant Chief of Police Douglas Dotson says student parking should not be affected by any inauguration events, but everyone should expect an increase in traffic in parking lots. Campus security and police say they will not be asking people to move from residential lots. The only changes will be for reserved parking at the Shar, Quarry Centers, and the Barnes lot next to the Alumni Fieldhouse. Event staff and Elon officers will be directing traffic. And as you're on your way over to Shar, it's a little chilly out today. We have Samantha Casamento live on Citroen Plaza. Samantha, what can we expect for the rest of the day today? Thanks, Brian. Yeah, it is pretty brisk out here. So right now it's around 54 degrees. So if you're heading to class, grab a jacket. But as for inauguration, you can take a shuttle there if you're feeling like it's too cold. But um, the high today is 62. The low is 40. Now getting into our Phoenix five day forecast tomorrow, we can expect some more partly cloudy skies with a high of 66 and a low of 52. Now Saturday for the in at Elon groundbreaking and the University of Richmond football game that is going to be here at Elon. We can expect some rain. So if you're going to either of those events, grab a rain jacket. Now it's going to be a bit warmer at 67 degrees, but the low is 44. So it's going to be a little bit chilly later in the night. Now um, getting into next week, Sunday and Monday, we're expecting to see some sunny skies and a little bit cooler weather. So high of 57 and a high of 60 on Monday. Um, and then on Tuesday, there's going to be some clouds again, um, picking up a little bit with the temperature. The high is going to be 66, but next week we're expecting to see some fall temperatures most of the week. So you're going to want to bring a jacket with you to class. But that is your Phoenix five day forecast. Megan, back to you in the studio. Thanks, Samantha. When we come back, we'll take you on a walk with President Book. Find out how she's balancing her new job with a healthy lifestyle. It's favorite food. We'll tell you what it is after the break.
Before President Book was Elon's president, she was provost of the Citadel. While she was there, she says she'd often work out with the cadets at 5 a.m. It turns out those workouts were only mandatory for the students. Interim provost Mark Benbensi, who has her job now, says she did, not, she did those just for fun. But Megan, it seems like President Book has always been a morning person, even since her Citadel days. That's right, Brian. One of President Book's top priorities is improving student wellness. We join her on her morning walk to learn about how she practices wellness in her life. Take a look. What are your suggestions for students who have trouble incorporating fitness into their lives? Like, I feel like a lot of students are really busy and they say, I don't have time. What are your suggestions? So I do think that people feel like they're too busy, but here's the thing is that I am so much more productive. It's actually a energy booster. Right? So people think it drains your energy, but it actually gives you energy. That's why I like to do it in the morning, because it sets me up. People are probably wondering, why are yeah. inaugurations like this? And when you find out, let me know. <laughs> what are some of your goals for Elon's campus in terms of living a healthier lifestyle? I try to talk a lot about the balance, because I do think uh, and absolutely believe that students are more successful like when they eat yeah, well, when they good. exercise, when they sure. get enough rest. How do you see it help you like in your new job, your fitness routine? I will say, I'll talk about leadership in relation to that. So uh, I talk about the three energies of leadership. One is, um, is physical. And then the second piece is the emotional. Uh, and then the last one is intellectual energy. You know, so having enough physical and emotional well-being that your intellectual energy is strong and that's really where you're advancing your knowledge where you're sharing your knowledge so those three energies uh, I'm, I'm working on every day Elon students definitely like to be involved in a lot of things and it's not just one thing but they have to be doing everything and getting straight A's and kind of almost the standard of perfection that's impossible to me do you think that makes it even more pressing to incorporate fitness and healthy living habits absolutely and two, to talk about healthy engagement. You know, there's research that shows that three to five things, that's really where healthy engagement. And you can think about your own first year experience where you were like, oh, I think I'll do Elon outdoors. I think I'll do club soccer. I think I'll do, and you put your toe in and then you find your place. And so that you can go deeper and you can um, learn it and then provide leadership and have those deeper experiences. And while President Book does like to work out, she still enjoys a hearty meal. Our Carly Thomas shows you how to make her favorite food, shrimp gumbo. Take a look. Now, while it may look complicated, the recipe only costs $30, depending on how many spices you have, and only takes 20 minutes to make. After the break, we have Nikki and Asensio live in the studio playing one of Preston. Over here at Shar Center, rehearsal has begun for the ceremony. The orchestra has started their preparation and people are adding the last final touches of decor here at Shar Center. That's all I have for you from Shar Center. Back to you, Megan, and be sure to tune in at 2.45 for our live coverage of the inauguration ceremony.
Thanks, Brian. We have Nikki and Asensio here in the studio to play one of President Book's favorite songs. Nikki, what are you going to be singing for I'm us? I'm singing Sunshine on My Shoulders by John Denver. Great. We can't wait to hear it. Well, that's all the news we have for you this morning, and thanks for watching. For all the news you need to know when we're not on the air, follow us on social media at Elon News Network or check out our website, elonnewsnetwork.com. And don't miss our coverage of the inauguration starting at 2.45 this afternoon. Have a great day, Elon and Nikki. Take it away. All right. Sunshine on my shoulders makes me happy Sunshine in my eyes, it makes me cry Sunshine on the water looks so lovely Sunshine almost always makes me high If I had a day that I could give to you I'd give you the day just like today If I had a song that I could sing for you I would sing a song to make you feel this way Sunshine on my shoulders makes me happy Yeah.